start to feel like in the nighttime. Watch what she do when the light shine. Drunk niggas tryna talk in the strip club. Shorty silhouette look like a dollar sign. Cop up. That's just how a nigga brought up. Guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my first haul ever with Neiman Marcus. I love Neiman Marcus. I have a Neiman Marcus credit card, so of course I'm gonna shop there. But I buy all these items from Neiman Marcus. So it's my first haul. So you guys wanna stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. Just keep on watching. Um, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm actually wearing the same thing I am wearing in my last video, which is my blue eyeshadow look tutorial. So I basically recorded two videos in one day just to go, you know, two birds with one stone kind of thing. So yeah, so I just basically decided to do uh, a, you know, a quick haul for you guys before I step out the door. So these are all the items so far that I got from um, Neiman Marcus. So I have all the prices for all of each item. I'll probably link it in the video right here or in the comment section. So yeah, so if you guys want to keep on watching, just stay tuned. This is honestly not like one item. This is like purses, shoes, makeup. I kind of left my makeup in the room, but mentally I have it. I'm going to start off on this side. Um, these are Adidas shoes. I really like these. I'm going to actually kind of put it down here or pop it down here where I have them on my feet. You guys can see how it looks when I'm wearing them. So these are these um, Adidas shoes. They're really comfortable, like really, really comfortable. They have like a nude feel to it with a white bottom and then like accent. These are like my everyday shoes, not everyday shoes, but like those so shopping shoes kind of thing. So yeah, these are shoes I wear. They're really comfortable and they're cushiony and I love it. So these, I believe, were $140. Next are my another all-time favorite, the Vapor Max shoes. I honestly wear these more than the Adidas. They are gray feel to it. So it's like gray, dark gray, light gray. It's kind of like a sock filled in. I can't explain it in the bottom of like bubble. These are so comfortable. I paid $190 for these. So these are really cute. All my friends love it. So these is how this is how they look, and they're so comfortable. So these are my two favorite on-the-go shoes that I wear, like to just work out or go to the grocery store, things like that. So I'm gonna actually start with the sneakers, and then I'm going to the flip-flops or sandals. So my next shoe I haven't worn it yet, but they're really comfortable when I try them on. These are kind. These kind of look like the Creepers by Rihanna, but they're not. They are by Puma. And so it's all, it's called Safari, let's see, yeah, Safari platform in a size 7. So it's really a thick platform right here and it has speckles of gold inside, which is really cute. Let me see the speckles. And yeah, so this is like a gray, not gray, this is like a nude beige, this is like a brown side. These are really comfortable. I love so Yeah them together these are really cute you can pair them with a lot of different things let's see see I haven't worn them yet but I know they're really comfortable you could kind of tell when a shoe is comfortable um, in the store sometimes when you try them on you can kind of tell so uh, these are not shoes so these are sandals this is not a sneaker but it's my Gucci open it <laughs> oh this is not a shoe it's the purse so I'll do a purse in the box so I'll get purse in here so my next all time favorite shoe is the Givenchy Paris I can see that so it comes in like a black box white box with black writing on it and they're very simple they're two black sandals with the print on top really comfortable um, this is a size, I believe, 38, but in my size 8, and it comes with a little dust bag inside, and it's like black with like a nude black, if that makes any sense. You guys can see that? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't put them in dust bags yet, because I kind of like to stack my shoe boxes on top of each other in the closet. But yeah, so the story behind these, I actually went into the store and bought a different pair. 
and then they fit me and I had to go back and get this. So when I try these on in the store, whoever has some big feet or wide feet stretched out lace shoes, so I figured, okay, these shoes are not for me because I have really narrow feet. So when I tried them on, I was so disappointed. My feet was actually going through like this. My toes was really hanging over. So the guy was like, yeah, maybe they don't fit you because they're wide. So I figured, okay, they're wide. So I went um, and bought the Gucci ones with the black and the green and red stripe. And those were extra big too. So I had to go back into the store and turn it. And I decided to try on the Gucci ones with not, not tried on in the box. And they fit, so I figured the person who ever tried them on actually had a wide feet. So thank God I went back and tried them. Anyway, so this is my next Gucci slides. These are really cute. It has a Gucci print on it, and then it has pro. I love to wear pearls, so this is perfect for me. So they have like the pro accents right here with the Gucci print on behind it. And these are really, really, really comfortable. It also has a dust bag, but it has two dust bags for each, each shoe, which is great. Because sometimes when you have shoes of color and you put them in the same dust bag, they kind of, the color kind of fades. I think that's what they were trying to avoid. So yeah, they give you two dust bags with this. It's beige with like a dark purple riding Gucci. Really cute. So these are probably, I'm ready to launch more because they go with more stuff. These are really cool when I'm ready to launch this is, a, I paid $630 for these, and this is size 9. Um, beige. Beige ebony. Yeah, these are $630. You guys can see that. The next shoe I have is another Gucci. So with this, I actually have the headband to match. And I didn't want to wear the headband without the shoes, so I got the shoes. But this box, this is so, the art on this box is beautiful. It's like orchard plants, flowers, it's like Japanese blossom flowers, it's so beautiful. So with this, it also comes with a dust bag, a white dust bag with the black writing, and then it has like, I can explain, it only comes with one dust bag, that's how it looks. And then it comes with like a little card, instructions, things like that. And then these, I, I was wearing these out like crazy, because I got these these were my first pair of Gucci's, and I got these, so I was wearing these out like crazy. But they're still good. They have the Gucci symbol behind it, and then they put the flowers on top. These are really, really cute. Um, these are my all-time favorites because these are my original. So this is the one that I really like the most out of all the other sandals. So these are comfortable. I think this is a size. Uh, I forgot it doesn't show on here, but it fits me, so, so that's all that matters. But anyway, um. I forgot how much I paid for these. I think like two something. I don't remember how much. But yeah. So these are not like a brand new shoe. Well, it's brand new, but it's not like a shoe or anything like that. These are Pumas. And I didn't go in there to get these. I just decided to see on the shelf and I love them. These are really cute. In summary, I haven't worn it yet, which I should start wearing it. But these are the Puma slides. It has the black trimming. And then where it says Puma is actually clear. And it has like a watermelon feel to it. So I got these in a half a size bigger because when I put them on at the exact size, it kind of covered the design and I didn't like that. So I decided to get half a size bigger so you guys can see the, like, the seeds and then the green. It's really cute. It's really comfortable. You can wear it to the beach. You can wear it to the pool. You can wear it out. You can do anything you want with these. But these are so comfortable and I love these so much. And I love pink. If I don't like to wear pink, but I love pink. But yeah, these are really cute. I paid $70 for these in size 7 and a half. So I'm a size 7, and I decided to get a 7 and a half instead. So yeah, these are really cute, and these are really affordable. If anyone wants to get it, just go to the market or go to the store. Hopefully they have it there. So those are the shoes so far. So the next item I'm going to go, go to is the no person. So this is by Marc Jacobs. So a friend of mine actually saw this purse in store, and but it had the pink on it. Like I said, I'm not a fan of wearing pink, but I like the color pink. So I like nudes better. It goes with a lot more stuff. So this is the bag right here. It has a little symbol. It has the, the nude hair, white hair. It has two sections here. You can put your purse, the wallet, the wallet, 
cards, the money, your phone, the gloss, all that. This is my favorite part of the bag. It's like gold. Gold, the writing is white and it's all black. This is how it looks on. You guys can see that. And this is detachable. So you could detach it. It has a little writing right here. So it's really cute. My next item is the Gucci. So this is also nude. I forgot what size this is, but this has a Gucci symbol with the um the card inside. You can put your lip gloss, phone, a small you no know, small wallet, things like that. It actually goes around your waist. I got it for my waist. Um, yeah, so it goes around like this. It's really, really, really cute. So you can wear it just like this. Around your waist, this is something quick and easy. If I'm going to like a park or something quick, I don't want to leave anything heavy. This is what I'll be wearing. So yeah, this is how this is looking. Really cute. It could get dirty, but yeah. It comes with a box like this. And it comes with a dust bag. So how much did I pay for this? I paid a thousand one hundred for that. I know, small, but it's worth it. I love it. So this is my first Louis Vuitton bag, the Speedy bag. I believe this is a Speedy 30 or 40. It has a white interior. It has a little key right here. You can't put this around your waist, but you can put this on your hand like this. Or you can put it on your hand like this. Or you can just hold it like this down by your side. It's kind of big, which I wanted. Um, it's really spacious. I put a lot of junk in there, but I kind of emptied it out for a video I did with um, what's in my bag. But yeah, it also has, it doesn't have a lot of compartments except this, which I can keep my money, my important stuff in there. So yeah, it has a dust bag, and I couldn't find it, but it's in my closet. So it actually comes with a dust, I mean, it comes with a dust bag and a box. So to keep it really, like, intact. But yeah, I've had this for maybe nine months now, and it's still in good condition. Nothing's wrong with it, nothing's wrong part and this is my all-time favorite I've been using it everywhere but if I want something small I will take like the Gucci bag or the Marc Jacobs this is my first new Marcus haul these are all the items I got I did get a few items from the markets that are makeup related let's see if I can find that for you guys um because my battery is about to die on me <laughs> so let's see if I can find it oh and I also got the um Balenciaga speed sneakers, the sock sneakers that Cardi B says, you know, the sock sneakers, whatever. I got those in black and then the white on the bottom. So this is the ones I got. So guys, my camera died on me, so I kind of cleaned up a little bit behind me so you guys can see more. Um, so I was quickly telling you that I got some makeup through there too, but I was also trying to tell you that the, I got the sock Balenciaga. These are the ones I got. You guys see it? There you go. So yeah, they're back order. I'm getting them August 20th. They're, they were $7.50 for those. I also got um, the Bobbi Brown Skin Smoothing Perfect, Perfect, Perfected $42. That's still back order too. I got two lip glosses. I got the Laura Mercier Loose Powder for $38, translucent. I got the Bobbi Brown Foundation for $40. $48, $50, I got the Laura Mercier Protect Foundation Primer for $38. And then, yeah, that's all I got. So, thank you guys for watching my haul, my first in Marcus haul. Um, if you guys have any comments or anything like that, just comment down below. Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And just stay tuned for more videos, okay? Bye.